Hello everyone and welcome to Salesforce Atlas. I hope that you are all doing well. In today's episode, I would like to discuss with you the best practice of using um, Salesforce required fields or mandatory fields and discuss exactly when should you consider um, creating your fields universally mandatory and uh, when could you just add them on specific page layouts uh, or use data validation. So create a validation rule, require this field to be uh, filled out when meeting the specific criteria. I'll use my opportunities object as an example. And as always, I'm in uh, one of the trailhead playgrounds. And here I was thinking, which field should I use an example? Uh, if I create a field, let's say I create a field, I will go to the object manager and set up and I will open opportunities object and uh, I will go and create a field and it will be even better just to show the difference between assigning it uh, universally required since the very beginning or adding it to a page layout and making it mand mandatory at the page layout level and, uh, and the record type level business name and the business name length 15 and here as you're creating a field you have an option to make it universally required and uh, universally required field it means that it will prompt you when you're doing the mass data import or upload if the field is blank it will create errors and you won't be able to to mass upload or mass update your records as it is going to be required universally on all records so by selecting this checkbox you have to be very careful and to think about any automation you will have in the future and anything else that would prompt you to fill out the field and without this field your record can't really be saved now i have never selected required universally but on all absolutely all records now i'll just skip this step and i'll select next and next and sure i can save it i'll just save it on all of our page layouts and the next thing i'll just go then to the page layout and let's say i'll select the master record and i will find All right, my business name is here. Now on the page layout, as you can see, I had four page layouts and I can select at this level, I can select whether I want to make it mandatory. But with a double click, you can make it required at the page layout level. And it means that if you select required, there is another risk um, with choosing this option. If you selected required and you have some automation or let's say at this stage, uh, it is on the opportunity level. At this stage, salesperson is not sure about the business name. Uh, perhaps in this case, it could be slightly different. Let's say it could be a, a phone number or a primary contact maybe at this level when you just create a new opportunity you don't really know who is the um uh, you don't really know the exact value you would like to save uh, with this record let's say the business name and on any other step the next thing would be to add an amount or add a quantity and you it will restrict you from saving the record until you um, put any value in the business name so it is possible if you make it required users will simply um, leave some not exact information or they will leave it for later but it will restrict from using it using the field in the correct way now required it means as well that the main thing is that it will be required at at any any stage even at the very beginning when you're creating the record and the same applies as well to 
um, importing data. So you basically have to ask questions. Why do you need this field to be required? And in which stage as well you need this field to be required? Maybe you need it at the very end of the sales process before closing an opportunity. So in that case, I'll just cancel it. And one of the things I prefer selecting is a validation rule. But again, it applies to different scenarios. That's why we have so many options in here. Another thing, um, how you can make a field required by creating a validation rule. You can write your rule name and then it will be a formal field. So you select the stage. Now, if I go back, I can uh, probably it will be here on my page layout. You can select the stage. Let's say you want to restrict to your users from saving or submitting this opportunity for approval um, until they until they fill out the business name. So this could be one of the options. You can select the stage and and the business name has to be, it shouldn't be black. And you write the formula, check the syntax, write the error message, and you can even select uh, where would you like the error message to pop up. And in my case, this could be a business name. Now, these are one of the things that you can consider when making some fields required because there are so many processes behind, especially when you, when you want to import or update data and you have some blank fields. Now, I could even show as well an example. I will just go back to the page layout and I will go and I will select my business name required. And you can see asterisk, I will go back, I'll just quickly save and I will go back to the page layout. And now I won't touch the field, but I will edit the amount of this opportunity. And as a result, as a result, you'll see that I won't be able to save this opportunity. Let's see if it's, well, maybe just move it back. even here i can't even move back to the perception analysis as you can see an error message is showing that business name is required field and i have to fill it out so i can't really do anything with the record um, i can't move stages and it is prompting me to complete a field and i'm trying to save the record that's a very big thing to consider especially when you're creating fields universally required that means on all page layouts, on all record types. In this case, I only selected one page layout and uh, on the other page layouts, the field won't be required. So this was a very quick video um, about pros and cons when creating a required field or, or when considering which field and in what stage the field should be required. Just think about it, ask questions and uh, think about all the processes you have as well in place in your org. I hope you found this uh, quick video useful. Thanks a lot for watching and watch out for some more videos soon. Thanks. Bye.